The Akuma Salilo is hands down one of my most spontaneous uh, fishing purchases in my life. I was actually on my way to a, another fishing spot. I had all the trolling gear that I needed. However, I just wanted one extra rod just in case. And I ended up buying this one real quick after very little research. And wow, I have a lot of opinions on this rod and I'm gonna be sharing them in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, but before we go over anything else on this rod, let's cover the specs real quick on the one that I have here. This is the SST C762 LA. That's the model name. This is a seven foot six light power rod. It has a moderate action. The lure weight is one quarter to one ounce. The line weight is four to 12 pounds. This is a two piece rod. It has 11 guides, including tip, and the MSRP is around $70. So as for versatility goes on this rod right here, there is so many species that these rods can target. It's crazy. On Akuma's website right now, I'm kind of looking through the main ones I've seen. For instance, this one, this is a bait caster, right? And this is for like trolling stuff. I use this uh, for trolling big Rapalas and different things for trout mainly. I can use this for kokanee as well. However, I do like a little bit softer of a rod for kokanee. So this one uses more for trout and, and fish that, you know, like larger trout and larger salmon and stuff like that. I also use this in Wyoming trolling for lake trout. It's a little light for those big ones, but all those fish between like, you know, 15 to 25 inch, those lakers in, in that area, this rod works perfect for that. On Akuma's website, I mean, they have spinning ones for steelhead, right? They've got um, like, you've got your um, carbon grips, your cork grips. They've got some special edition versions. They have ones just for mooching, ones just for trolling, uh, ones just for float fishing. I mean, it's crazy how many different ones, you know, different types of SSTs they have on their website. Uh, there's a lot of different price ranges in here. I'm seeing everything from 55 bucks to like 140 bucks, but most of the ones, your, your average rods, the SSTs, the ones you can find like in, in your typical tackle stores, those ones are going to be usually around this price, like the 60 to $80 mark. They also have like some seven foot ultralights and seven foot lights. And those would be fantastic rods for trout, you know, any type of panfish, a lot of that different stuff too. And they also obviously have really good steelhead rods, great salmon rods. There's really a lot of fish that these rods can target. I think the only thing that these rods don't really work super well for is probably just bass fishing. It's really cool how they have so many different options depending on what fish you want to target. Obviously, I would recommend going on their website here and just taking a look at all the SSTs and see what specifically is going to work best for you. However, if you are trolling for trout and doing the stuff like I am, this one model I have right here would work perfect for you. Um, or you could go with the spinning rod version of this and use that for just your overall, you know, all around trout. Trout, uh, trout fishing, right? As for looks here, this rod is very, very plain. It's basically just a gray rod with a full cork handle. Obviously most trolling rods, pretty much every trolling rod is always gonna be a full cork. Those are not gonna be split grips. Uh, got a standard handle on there, a um, little bit of orange accent in there, black Akuma logo, that's it. Very, very plain rod. And frankly, with trolling rods and things like this, I don't want a lot of extra stuff on my rod, right? This rod has a very specific purpose and I want it to do that purpose. I don't want other things on this rod to get in the way of achieving that purpose of the rod. So I love it. I love how plain this rod looks. It also works really well with a bunch of other reels. Usually I pair this up with a Daiwa Lexa LC, which is a line counter reel. And that's one of my main kind of trolling setups for trout and whatnot. Um, I've also paired it up with like a Calcutta when trolling for lake trout and other, some other stuff as well on there. But yeah, it goes really well with a lot of other reels. Another thing like I was saying here is, is I love the full court grip, but the guides on this are also really nice. I really like the guides on this rod. Uh, they seem super strong and hold up really well. Overall, I love the looks on it. Plain, but it gets the job done. As for durability, uh, I've now had this for, I believe, two or three like full spring seasons now of trolling and obviously fall season of trolling for trout too. So far, I haven't had any issues, no breakage or anything like that. Um, I haven't like really thrashed the rod like extremely hard. However, I have fished heavy. Like this, this rod is like in my rotation a lot. You guys are probably seeing this rod catch a lot of fish on, on some of my videos. So yeah, I mean, overall, I love it. It has held up really great for me. In terms of the overall feel, I really like the feel of this rod. Obviously, 
pretty much all trolling rods are going to be full cork grips and I like a full a full grip anyway I'm not a big split grip fan so I love the feel of this rod it feels really nice with the reel in your hand now I am trolling all day right so I'm not feeling I'm not holding the rod like all day while I'm fishing typically if I have this rod in my hand for more than 15 minutes in the day it's probably a good day it means I had was fighting a lot of fish right so um, I really don't hold this a lot but the times that I am holding it and I'm fighting fish it's super comfortable in your hand and it's really really nice and easy to use especially for 70 bucks so as for price here right 70 bucks obviously it depends on the website there's a lot of different models here but for anywhere in that price range depending on what you are doing I mean for 70 80 bucks a steelhead or salmon rod at this price that's a killer price for 70 80 bucks for like a decent nice trolling rod this is an awesome deal like there's really for that price range all the types of fishing that this rod covers according to their you know their website that's a great price for any of those things especially this one right here if you guys are looking for a just kind of a, a trolling rod that is going to cover all around trolling for trout maybe some kokanee and walleye and maybe some other stuff in there too you just want kind of one decent budget rod to get the job done this rod is going to be incredible for that and it's worked really great for me, even though it's not my most expensive trolling rod that I have in my arsenal, it's worked phenomenal for what I've needed it for. Obviously, like I said, for a beginner that's kind of getting into trolling or getting into steelhead or salmon or one of those specific things, this is a great rod for that. But also for you, you know, for even for me, right? For those diehard anglers that just want an extra couple trolling rods, depending on the application that they're doing for the day, this is still a phenomenal option for that. I mean, even for 70 bucks, you know, most $70 rods aren't very nice, but I'm still using this all the time in a lot of my trips. So that says something about, you know, the quality of this rod. Compared to the Akuma Salilo, which I believe is around 50, 60 bucks right now, this is definitely a step up. You can feel a big difference in quality. Obviously it's not the same quality as like a really expensive Lamy glass trolling rod or even the Akuma. I think the Akuma has like the Kokanee Special and a couple really nice trolling rods in there. Um, obviously you can feel a difference from those to this one as well, but for that price range, you can't beat it. All right, let's go over the pros and cons of this rod here real quick as for pros right I love the guides on this rod they're real nice quality it's priced perfect I think it 70 80 bucks is a steal for this rod it's also a pretty sensitive rod and it, it loads up and works really good for some of those those bigger trout that I target on this in terms of cons I really there there's nothing on this rod that like really sticks out to me as like a bad con so I'm actually gonna leave the con list just blank here overall I'm gonna give this a humble grading of a 9 out of 10 uh, I think it's a phenomenal rod I don't really see any major cons with this with this rod if you guys are looking to kind of get into trolling or salmon or steelhead or something kind of specific this is a great rod that'll cover a lot of those different species you guys will continue seeing this rod on my channel a lot as I troll different lakes and catch big old trout with this so yeah overall i think it's a phenomenal rod i would 100 recommend this to anybody out there looking for this if you are interested in the spinning rod versions of these and you want a really good reel to pair up with this i will put that right up here if you're using the conventional gear version of this and you want a nice reel to pair up i will put that right here for you guys hope you guys got a kick out of today's video hope you learned something if there's a video or a product that you guys want to see me do next leave it in the comments below i'd be happy to try to make that happen for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time on Humbug Videos.